Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me today on the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. So we're back at it again. And again, this is gonna be from Driftless Glen Distilling Company out of Baraboo, Wisconsin. And yes, they do have some incredible whiskeys, bourbons coming out of the state of Wisconsin. This happens to be uh, specifically a Don's Liquors and Wine pick. Uh, this is barrel number 1956 coming in at 125 proof or 62.5% uh, ABV. Mash bill on this one is gonna be 60% corn, 20% rye, and 20% malted barley. Uh, it is age stated as 59 months or four years, nine months. And the MSRP on this one is about uh, between 60 and $65. So in terms of what it is that you'll be getting with this bourbon, that's a pretty nice value in today's market. Uh, for exactly what this is. So let's go ahead and we'll kind of get into the uh, into the uh, review here. So color wise, as you can see, really nice, deep, rich, copper, mahogany type of color. So a fantastic color uh, on, on this bourbon. So, all right, let's get into the uh, nose. Uh, so right away, immediately this nice, rich, like cherry note. Followed quickly by some nice sweet oak. Uh, there's a little bit of like a graham cracker uh, influence on this one too. Nice baking spices. Uh, even uh, like a light chocolate, this would be more of a, I would say like more of a, a milk chocolate um, in terms of a, a chocolate note. A little bit of cornbread there. Uh, really nice uh, vanilla notes on this one as well. It's more of a, like a custard type of, of note there. Uh, and then I guess kind of coming out in addition to the cherry that was there, you get kind of this like rich, like soaked dark fruit, uh, you know, uh, fruits that will be soaked in an, another kind of liquor, something along those lines. There's this intense or richness that's there to it. They have more of that sweet oak kind of coming out on this. Definitely more cherry. They yeah, have that nice custard note on this one as well. It's really, really nice. But more importantly, let's um, let's see how this one's gonna taste. Cheers. So at 125 proof, this is one you wanna get on your palate. Let your palate acclimate a little bit before you start to kind of judge exactly what it is. We'll get into that, take another sip and kind of give you a few tasting notes here. So similar to the nose, immediately there is this rich, like Luxardo cherry kind of note, followed very quickly by a really, really nice, um, like baking spice aspect to it. Really, really nice. For 125 proof, it's not drinking nearly that hot. So that's nice, like right away. Very mouth coating, so it feels good in terms of it being oily in your mouth. So it's coating the mouth really, really nice. So that's that's a nice thing. Maybe even a bit of a, a, a pastry note that's there as well. So combined with the pastry, a little bit of that cherry, that baking spice, it kind of leans towards like a a spice cherry pie, something along those lines. There's a lot of that influence that's there on it. Again, that rich, sweet oak, not a lot of heat. That's the one thing I kind of keep waiting for. And again, at 125 proof, it's just not, it's just not coming. So overall, again, really nice mouthfeel, mouth coating. Those cherries, that nice baking spice, that pastry, again, yeah, spiced cherry pie, something along those lines, sweet oak, maybe even a little bit of a, as the, as it sits on the palate a little bit more, maybe a little bit more of like a tobacco or a leather note starts to come out a little bit in this one. Touch of dryness that's there. Yeah. And there kind of something that popped up a little bit late here on the palate was um, kind of a hint of honey. There's a little bit of a honey note on, on that as well.
yeah, again, those, those like, you know, soaked dark fruits. There is this intenseness, this boldness that's there to it. Fairly complex. Again, I like the, the mouthfeel. Um, as far as where this hits for me, it's right on the mid to the back of the palate. Coats the, the tongue really, really well. Allows for a lot of flavors to really develop on this one. So I would say with what's going on right now, this is a, a bourbon that you have to kind of let evolve, let it open up. Don't rush it. The more you kind of sip on it, the more of these different flavors you're going to to kind of continue to pull out of it. So really, really nice bourbon so far. Yeah, I just kind of continue to go back to that that pastry, the cherry, the great baking spice. So yeah, I mean, I think again, if you put it into, you know, a, a, or use a food analogy, it is against like a spicy you know, cherry pie, something along those lines. Very, very nice. Rich, complex for just under five years old. These bourbons that Driftless Glen, um, specifically their single barrels, they're really developing nicely. So I think they've really started to get their name out much more than it used to be. And that just, you know, is a, a tribute to them in terms of them really putting out a really nice whiskey. In addition to these, they've got rise and a lot of things. So they're doing a lot of great things. So, you know, check them out. Driftless Glen Distilling Company uh, out of Baraboo, Wisconsin. So going back to this, in terms of finish, super long, super oily, mouth coating, all of that. Again, there's still that lingering cherry, that spice, that pastry note. Again, we'll kind of stick with the, the spicy cherry pie kind of aspect to that. Again, Really nice oak. There's oak that's there, not over oaked by any means, but a nice, rich, sweet oak presence to it. A little bit of leather, maybe tobacco uh, on the finish there as well. Some slight dryness, but not overly dry by any means. So there you have it. I think this is overall a really, really nice, well put together, you know, roughly almost five year bourbon again coming out of the state of wisconsin driftless glen distilling company so check them out i think they um they really deserve a lot of the accolades that they're starting to get and rightfully so so there you have it so with that being said i want to say thank you so much for tuning into uh, another one of my reviews greatly appreciate all of the support if you'd like to follow me you can on facebook instagram twitter all of those places at My Bourbon Journey. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel or become part of the Mash and Journey Whiskey Club, check the Patreon link in the description below. And again, regardless, with that being said, you know, I thank you so much for all of your support. Greatly appreciate it. And remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.